Hello, this is Kinch with Riptide Hosting here to go over remote desktop connection with you. This is Windows 8 laptop that I'm on and to find remote desktop from this screen you just type in remote and it will pull up remote desktop connection under apps. You'll get a screen like this and right here is where the fun begins. You can type in the website address of the server, you can type in the IP to your server at that point, before you click connect, if you want to print from your server, if you want to move files back and forth, share files, upload, download files, you click on show options. First thing here under display, you can set how large of a screen do you want the window to open for your server. I have this set to pretty small so we can see it all on the screen. Next, really important right here, local devices and resources under local resources. Printers is selected and clipboard. So if I do a control C to copy and a control P to paste, I can paste from my computer or my laptop up to the server and vice versa. Printers once again and then under more, you can share out different hard drives, you can share out ports, smart cards, select them all. In this case, I have a Windows 7 OS C colon clicked to share it. So at this point, let's get click connect button to log in. And right here, don't ask me again if you want to save this. Connect. You would type in your username and password if it didn't already show up because you typed in here before. If this shows up, it's okay. It doesn't have the certificate loaded. You click yes. And here's the screen. Now I'm viewing the screen on the server for my account that I logged in with. And the first thing, if I want to copy files, what can I open? Where would I see those files on my local laptop? Underneath desktop libraries, you keep coming down here, C on, and that's the name of my laptop. So literally at this point I can browse, took just a little bit of time there, I can see all the different folders. So if I want to drag and drop a file, I can definitely do that. There's no files in here. I can move a file over from the server. Or if there's a file here, I can move it up to the desktop, let's say. As an example here. Let's see what resources we have. Postgres, probably a large file, not a good one. Any small files in here. So literally, I'm going to do a drag and drop up to the desktop. Copy it here. Minimize this window. And there's the file on the server now. So with this power you don't need to set up FTP access to move your files back and forth. If you have office files, if you're sharing files with other workers on a server, you can simply drag and drop the files back and forth with remote desktop. You can print from here as long as the printers are seen and you check that box. Worst case, you might have to install a printer driver. At that point, any documents on the server, you can print locally. Hopefully you see the power of this. This lets you centralize all of your applications for a small office or your larger office onto a server or set of servers in a data center. And then you can access them from anywhere that you have internet access and with a, any computer, including a Mac, that has a remote desktop connection application on it. So very powerful, you can print, you can view, you can share. One of the benefits also is in the data center, you have the redundancy that you don't usually have in an office. And also all the servers that Riptide uses, they all have at least two hard drives, so you have a second copy there, and then they can all, that server can also be backed up in case anything does happen, that you delete a file and need to get that file back. So what we covered was how to log in. You can log in via an IP or the domain name if that's tied to the server. You can share your printers, your clipboard, and your drives. You can drag and drop your files, and you can run applications that are loaded on the server. If you have any questions, let us know. If you'd like a demo, let us know. Thanks.